Regenerative braking is one of the ways that we can make driving more fun and efficient and extend your vehicle range. It works like this. When you're slowing down, the electric motor is acting like a generator and capturing the energy to put back into the battery. It's a feature that's available in electric vehicles. So look for the Regen On Demand paddle on the back of your steering wheel and the one pedal driving button at the rear of the shifter. There are four different levels you can choose from. For the lowest deceleration and energy return, you can simply operate in drive mode and ease off the accelerator. A small amount of regenerative braking will occur, but the vehicle will coast, similar to a conventional gas vehicle. You are still required to press the brake pedal to stop the vehicle. To increase the level of deceleration and energy returned, you can operate in drive and pull the regen on demand paddle. Extra regenerative braking will occur as long as you are holding the paddle. To increase the deceleration and the energy returned even more, you can operate one pedal drive mode by activating the one pedal drive button on the center console. With this mode active, taking your foot off the accelerator pedal results in a significant regenerative braking effect. In fact, the vehicle will come to a complete stop without touching the brake pedal. This mode takes some getting used to, but it is the preferred method of driving for many EV customers. One pedal driving will stay active until you push the button again, even between drives. With practice, it can even reduce wear on your brake pads. And in case you are wondering, the vehicle will activate your brake lights when you're slowing down, even if you aren't touching the brake pedal. For the highest level of deceleration, you can operate one pedal drive mode and use the regen on demand paddle in tandem. But remember, if you ever need to stop suddenly, use your brake pedal as well. By using regenerative braking efficiently, your energy goes a long way.